Oh, I've made it before, but I have a long way to go before I perfect sushi on the Taberzi Test Kitchen. We start at Bob's Produce to get our sushi grade tuna steak. Sushi grade pertains to a certain fish frozen at a temperature which makes it edible raw. To create the rolls, we'll need avocado, cucumber, sheets of roasted seaweed called nori, wasabi, and our tuna steaks. It's important that you find a local Asian market to find your wasabi, your nori, and most importantly, your bamboo mat. Wrapping cling wrap around the bamboo prevents rice from getting stuck in the cracks. Speaking of rice, notice the difference in grain between jasmine rice and our sushi rice. Jasmine is longer and sushi is smaller. Let's take two cups of sushi rice and rinse it till the water runs clear. With the rice, we add sushi vinegar and two and a half cups of water to the rice maker. According to our translation department, by adding the vinegar to the uncooked rice, you can get away with much less vinegar. Come on, it's a small bottle. Cut me some slack. Activate the rice cooker and you're good to go. When it's done, put it in a bowl and set aside. We cut our cucumber in half and gut out the seeds. Then slice that in half and then slice each half thinly. I slice the avocado in half and then thinly slice that also. Now imagine the thinly sliced vegetables. I slice the tuna against the grain. Now we're ready to assemble. Our final ingredient, spicy mayonnaise. We mix mayo and sriracha together for a delicious combination. Once mixed, add a splash of sesame oil. We have found a few things to pass on to you so you don't make the same mistakes we did. First, you don't need to use the whole nori sheet. You can just use half of it. Using the whole sheet adds way too much rice in the roll. Remember that the nori has two sides, a rough side and a shiny side. You want to apply the rice to the rough side. Also notice on your bamboo mat that it sort of has a flat side. You want that side up. And finally, I burned my rice in the rice maker, so make sure you add enough water. Okay, let's assemble. First up, the inside out Trevor tuna roll. Apply the rice to the nori with moist hands. Handling the rice is tough enough, so always keep a bowl of water to moisten your hands with. Spread the rice on the nori completely, then flip over to the shiny side of the nori. Spread the spicy mayonnaise, add a row of tuna, add a row of cucumber, and add a row of avocado. Gently roll the roll once by hand, tucking in the bottom. Now take the bamboo mat and complete the roll. Once complete, pull the edge of the mat outward with your left hand and tuck the roll with your right fingers. Place in the fridge till you're ready to cut and eat. Now if you want to get super spicy, then I have a trick for you. Once you've applied the rice, add a row of wasabi and spread it with your fingers. Then add your cucumber and avocado and roll. When slicing the sushi, make sure you're using a sharp, damp knife. Cut in half, come together, then slice in chunks. Katie's favorite roll, spicy mayo, avocado, and cucumber. Or a tempura shrimp roll, which we make for her didn't have time for this episode. We've also rolled the nori into a cone and stuffed it with rice, cucumber, fish, and avocado. Again, no time, baby. So our technique, like yours, is always growing. Join us next week as we go back to Valentini's Supper Club and grab another recipe. Until then, keep cooking and eating. Ha, 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 ha.